We want to get to breaking news unfolding in Cleveland. That's where police confirmed five people were shot at a barber shop this afternoon. It happened in the 4400 block of State Road around 3 o'clock. And News 5's Nadine Abusada is live at the scene with the latest. Nadine. Yeah, Courtney, I'm standing here right across the street from the barbershop where that incident happened. If you see right behind me, it's called I Fix Ugly. If you pay a little close attention, you'll see officials in the area still investigating. Through the glass, you'll see bullet holes, and on the ground, you'll see some of those shell casings. Now, what we know from officials is that five people were shot in this incident. Four transported to the hospital. One person did walk away from the scene, and we did speak to residents in the area, and they tell us that shootings like this this one, a tragic one, is becoming way too common in the area, and they hope to see something done soon. It's a thing for this neighborhood, and it's a shame, you know, when you gotta, can't let your kids outside because you're afraid you're gonna get struck or hit by a stray bullet from somebody um, or anything. And like I said, the police need to do more. Now we did just get information that just we did just get information that just came in from Cleveland police telling us that the shooting happened around three o'clock. I'm actually looking down at it right now, but I do want to focus on one aspect of this story. We're talking about a barber shop, and if you take a look behind me, you'll see a big group of people hanging out right there by the barber shop. When you have a barber shop in the community, we spoke to a few people that frequented that barber shop, and they talked about the tight knitness and how this was a hangout spot, how everybody knows each other. So something like this is very tragic and uncommon for this specific location. But again, details are still few. What we know right now is that five people were shot and they are still investigating what exactly took place that led to this tragic incident. Courtney. All right, Nadine, thank you so much for being live for us.